cart path to go to a home site that was built in between 1868 and 1903. See stone wall. And right here is the entrance. The break in the wall. there. We'll check that out too. Well, I had a good signal. Dug this massive hole. See it's filling up with water. And finally pulled this out. That is a massive musket ball. That is, that's one of the bigger ones I've ever dug. Wipe it off my pants a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it may have been fired. That is really cool. Just dug this out. Real thin copper. I'm not sure if you can see the design. But there's not really much cleaning I could do to it because it'll fall right apart, it's kind of crumbling. But well, that was pretty cool. Then right here, a little bit of pottery right in the same hole, and this thick glass. A lot of bubbles in it. You know it's older. This is pretty cool. It's left of a pocket knife. It's all in pieces, but to find. I'm working along the side of this bank and I have a somewhat consistent mid to high tone. Definitely worth digging out. Hopefully that'll do it. Check it again. Much more consistent now. Alright, it's in my hand. Right here, I feel it. The button. I don't feel a shank. Let me wipe it off a second. It's an Indian head penny. Awesome. I'll clean it off better and get some pictures of course. That's really cool. I'm happy with that. Let's go check out the cellar hole. see half of it, only half was dug out, came through right in here, then out, there's still a lot of snow but you can see, there's 
lot deeper over here. This is it right here. Sure is. Wow. Shining up pretty good. It's a button for sure. Oh, wait a minute. Go easy here. That's really cool. I don't see any designs on it or anything, but I'll try to keep that nice. I'll clean it up good. That's awesome. Nice big button. That's a really cool baby spoon. All together. It was silver plated. It's copper. Awesome. Really rocky hole full of just I had to dig it with my hands. But Manage to pull this out. To, I think it's a pewter spoon bowl. I'll wipe it off my pants. Didn't do too much, but yeah. See if there's any more in here. It's pretty neat. I believe that was part of a suspender clasp. It looks really ornate. I'll keep it safe, clean it up, and get some pictures of it. Next target wasn't very deep. It's right in here somewhere. Still in my hand. Right here. It's a button. I'll wipe it off quick. Nice little flat button. Awesome. So I pop this out. I am not sure what this is. I believe I found one something similar to this before. But brass or copper I believe there we go button broken shank really cool I'm going through all this golden rod it's hard to swing around, but 
the snow's melted. And it's all padded down. Better than it was. I already found a button, so it's worth going through. This is pretty cool. Harmonica. You can see in the inside there, there's still a lot of wood on it. Oh, I'm not sure that's going to make it all the way back, but... That is awesome. I'll clean it up, maybe you can get some information from it. Definitely worth digging. That's what we're hearing. I am not sure what that is. Alright, I'm still on the goldenrod here. Had a consistent signal. Still in the hole. Right there. Oh, hey. Right on top. Oh, okay. So it's left of a lantern. A lot of times there's a date on these right here. It's been crushed for sure. But yeah, you'd spin this wheel and the wick would come up higher or lower out of here to adjust your flame. That's really cool. I'll try to keep it intact and clean it up. I'll at least try to get a date off of that at least. Found the trash pit. So far, it's either glass or a porcelain button, four hole button, this big iron bottom of a, a pot or something I believe. I set the button back here. This copper plate, I believe it's copper, no holes in it, complete, it'll make a really nice display piece. I'm really happy about that. A bunch of this I don't know what this is, an old jug, a lot of pieces of that, some glass, a bunch of iron of course. What I'm extremely happy about is this, a butt plate to a rifle, I'm going gonna, gonna to guess as a musket, I'm going to wipe it off so I can see the design, I'm hoping you can see that, I'll definitely get pictures of this. I am very excited. I've only found pieces of butt plates. This one's whole, intact. Beautiful. I am very happy. I'm going to keep digging and hope I could find some more. Awesome.
All right, come up with some glass. Still have all the same stuff. See there's more on the side of the bank here. More there. And I've just been scratching along like this and seeing what comes up. More glass. Here you can see where I've been throwing it all. Oh, here's more of that. It's quite a bit of that. There hasn't been any complete bottles or anything yet, but there's more of that orange bottle. I called my brother to come and help me dig at this and he found some looks like it matches the plate. Copper. Looks like it was a small dish or I don't know. Cool. Well, you can see the pile of stuff there that I've dug out of this pit so far. I've come down and I dug this out. You can see it's really ornate. I'm not sure what it is. I'll clean it up better, get some of the dirt out. See if I can't find anything out about it. That's awesome. I'm going to keep going along in here. Hopefully can find some more. We're still here. My brother just dug out a broken cork top. Which is a good sign. So hopefully... This is New York on it. Awesome. Hopefully we'll find a complete one. Mm -hmm.